Hey guys, Jake Stewart again today with PowerCore 360. Today we're going to be working with our arm cuffs. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our bottom hand, work with instructional drills that you can do with our bottom hand, training drills, teaching drills, and then we're going to move on to a bunch of different strength training drills that you can do with the bottom hand. Then we're going to put the cuff on our top hand, go through the same progressions. We're going to start with instructional drills that you can do, then we're going to move on to strength training drills. All right guys, so the next thing that this instructional is going to do for us with this arm cuff on our bottom hand is it's gonna help us feel a short, compact, flat path to and through the baseball with it assisting us out front. Again, it's pulling our hand and essentially the, the correct path that we wanna feel, right? It's essentially driving this knob to the baseball, getting this bat down to the plane of the baseball and staying on the plane of the baseball for as long as we can, all right? And with it out front, that's where it's pulling us, all right? It's not letting us chop straight down it's not letting our hands drop back here. It's definitely not letting our hands cast out this way and roll over or roll across. That's not what we want to do. It's helping us feel keeping our hands close to our body and pulling on that correct path to and through the baseball. Again, when it helps us get this bat on the plane of the baseball. And then when it's out front, it's helping us feel that plane through the baseball, all right? We want to stay on the plane of the baseball as long as we can. And with this band out front, again, it's not letting us rip across the zone this way and roll over everything. It's not letting us swing straight uphill. Again, it's not letting our bat have a V swing. That's not what we want, right? We want to keep our bat on the plane of the baseball for as long as we can. So with this band pulling our bottom hand out front, it's helping us feel that path to the baseball and through the baseball in a short, compact, flat manner. All right, so now that we've done the instructional drills with the arm cuff on our bottom hand, now we're gonna move into some strength training drills. And with these ones, we're not gonna have a bat in our hand because we're just working on movements, all right? We're not worried about swing path, anything like that. We're just trying to strengthen the muscles that we use through our hitting motion in just simple movements, simple movements. All right, so the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do just a high to low chop. And so for this one, but we're gonna act like we're hitting in all of these. So we're just gonna load and coil, stretch out this lat, and we're just gonna chop. So we're just gonna do a high to low chop. Again, we're doing this fast and holding it right down here, just trying to strengthen all these front side muscles in our swing so that they can be faster, stronger through our swinging motion. So again, just a high to low chop, not worried about bat path, not worried about that. That's why we're taking the bat out of our hands for this one, just doing simple movements. So next one we're gonna do, uh, again, a strength training exercise with this cuff on our bottom hand, is now we're just gonna do a flat chop. So the first one we did was a high to low chop. Now we're just gonna do a flat chop. Again, no bat in our hands. We're not worried about swing mechanics, anything like that. We're just trying to strengthen the muscles through rotational movement. So with this one, we're just gonna have our hand right on that plane. We're just gonna drive out, all right? We're gonna hold our finish. So again, we're doing this explosive, fast. It's a strength training exercise. We're just driving out. And again, this band's not gonna allow us to get out here. It's gonna feel awkward. We wanna keep our hands somewhat tight to our body in all these drills. So we're maximizing the benefit and keeping it as close to a swinging movement as we possibly can while strengthening all the right muscles. So again, just flat, right on the plane of this band, flat chop. So the next drill that we can do that's a strength training deal with this cuff on our bottom hand is now we can move on to a low to high chop. All right, so we've done a high to low chop. We've done a flat chop. Now we've moved the band down and we're just gonna do a low to high chop. Again, trying to keep our hand tight to our body and trying to be fast, explosive with our movements. All right, and again on this one, with all these, we wanna keep our body essentially straight up and down. We don't wanna lean too far back. We don't wanna lean too far forward with any of them. We just wanna keep our body straight up and down and just let our hands work. And that's gonna help us strengthen all these muscles on the front side of our swing. All right, so now we're gonna move on to putting the arm cuff on our top hand. And the first one that we're gonna do instructionally, we're gonna have the band resisted um, about chest, in between chest and shoulder height. All right, we don't want this too high because we don't wanna create the angle that we're swinging straight down with our bat. And we don't want this too low because again, we don't wanna swing straight uphill on this ball. So with it about chest or shoulder height, it's really gonna help us maximize our benefits. And so with this one, again, it's gonna help us feel that little bit of coil and load back with our hands. And then we're just gonna do a stop bat. All right, and what this is gonna do, since it's resisting us straight behind on that plane, is it's not gonna allow us to cast out here. So if you got kids that are casting their hands like this, wrapping around, again, it should hopefully fix that because in order to get to be able to stay in a strong position at contact, they're gonna have to get inside the baseball, keep their hands tight 
and get down to the plane of the baseball quick and stay on that plane as they drive through. Again, it's not going to allow us to roll over this way. It's not going to allow us to cast our hands out here. So instructionally, it should help simplify their swing, keep it nice and compact so it gets on the plane of the ball and stays on the plane of that ball as long as we can. All right, guys, so the next instructional drill that we can do with this cuff on our top hand is we can actually put the band assisting us out front. And what we like to do is we simulate the angle of a fastball with the band. So if you see this band right on that ball, that's about simulating the plane that that ball would be coming in on. And I'm working on a pitch about belt high in this drill. Again, if your weakness is on a pitch knee high, set the band on that angle of a knee high fastball. So that's what we really want to work on, right? We want to stay on the plane of the pitch as long as we can, as flat as we can on that plane, right? So we're not in and out. We're not up straight up. So we're not having that much of our bat in the zone, right? We want our bat to be on the plane of that pitch for as long as we can. And with this one, we're just going to get to contact and then we're just going to feel that extension piece on the plane of the pitch due to the angle of the band is simulating that plane of the pitch and we're just going to feel that staying on the plane of that pitch as long as we can right again the band is pulling us straight forward on the plane of that pitch so it's not allowing our hands to roll over this way it's not allowing our hands and our shoulders to hop up out of the zone so it's really helping us feel our shoulders and our head staying behind the baseball and on the plane of the baseball flat as long as we can keep it so we're simulating the plane of that pitch, really driving our hands on that same plane. So now that we've done the instructional pieces with this cuff on our top hand, we just wanna move on to the strength training exercises. So now we're gonna pick up the speed, we're gonna pick up the pace, we're gonna try and do these fast explosive. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same three that we did with the bottom hand. We're gonna do a high to low chop, a flat chop, and a low to high chop. Again, just kind of simulating our swinging movement with our body but we're not worried about our bat path. We're not worried about hitting a ball. We're just focused on the movements. So for this first one, we're gonna put the band up high. We're just gonna have it on our top hand. We're gonna load and stride and just chop down. And for this one, we wanna keep our fingers on top. That way we ensure we're just doing a high to low chop the whole time. We're not wrapping under and, and starting to get into our other chops. We're making sure that we're just doing a high to low chop with this one, keeping our hand in tight to our body, not letting our hand get way out here. Not letting our hand push out that way and definitely not letting our hand wrap around because if we do that most of the time the band's gonna whip up and hit you in the neck so we want to make sure that we're just doing a high to low chop keeping our fingers on top just trying to strengthen this movement so we're doing this one fast explosive usually three sets of five reps fast so now we're gonna move on to our flat chop so again we did a high to low chop with our fingers on top so this one we're just gonna have our fingers on bottom so we're just gonna go palm up the whole time all right, so we're just gonna put our elbow on our hip and just push through, all right? And just get our arm all the way extended, palm up out front. Again, this isn't worried about hitting motion, hitting mechanics. It's just trying to strengthen a rotational movement with our hands. We're just gonna connect our elbow, drive straight through. Again, we wanna just make sure that this elbow is connected just so our arm's not getting out here. Again, that's not working on the right muscles. And so we're not wrapping all the way this way. We just wanna keep it there, drive straight out, Try and just stay on the plane of that band as long as you can, just having your palm towards the sky. All right, so now that we've done our high to low chop and our flat chop, the last thing we're gonna do for a strength training exercise with this band on is we're gonna do a low to high chop. So for this one, we're gonna start with our hand about waist level. We're just gonna drive up so our hand's about shoulder level. So we're just doing a high or low to high chop. Same thing, just strengthening the movements, trying to increase our hand speed. We're not worried about hitting mechanics where we don't have a bat in our hands worried about bat path anything like that we're just trying to work on a movement so with this one again just go from hip height up to shoulder height fast as you can really working on speed and explosion all right so the end-all be-all goal from this is we're trying to increase our hand speed in our swing and we're trying to decrease our time to contact all right so what these drills are going to helpfully help us do is develop a shorter more compact flatter swing through the zone all right so some of the mechanical cleanups that you should see are if your kids are casting their hands out directly like this and rolling over the ball hopefully those strength training drills will help them get on the plane and stay on that plane a lot longer again if their hands are dropping way down here they should see a little more consistent solid load with their hands through those drills and just a better hand path through the ball based off the angle of those drills as well as strengthening all those movements so hopefully 
our hand speed will be faster, our time to contact will be faster, and what that'll lead to is more consistency and more power. And again, the end all be all goal from this is just to develop more confidence in a hitter. We talk about this every week. I can't stress enough the importance of confidence in your hitting. And hopefully what this does is this gives your athlete the confidence that they have in their abilities and their mechanics to not have to think about it in the game. They can just go up there with their approach, a lot of confidence, and just know whatever he throws, they're gonna hit because they're not thinking about swinging at a curveball in the dirt. They're not worried about striking out. They're not worried about any of that. They just have a lot of confidence in themselves to go up there and trust their ability and rake.